hey what's up everybody it's another beautiful day how you're doing welcome to my channel i go by the name k l o w e today i have a metabol effect we're going to create together this is the metabol all right let's jump in after effecting, we see how we can achieve this metabol. First of all, we are going to create a shape layer. We're going down here where the tools are. Just going to ellipse. I want to make a perfect side. I just press Option and Shift and then drag it right over here. Yeah, yep. This is the shape we have made. Let me maximize my. My canvas here, let's say 100. Yeah, this is the shape align at the center. So that we are going to duplicate this one. My shape layer, I'm going to duplicate it by press Command D, and then I'm going to give the name my my layers. Press Enter to rename the layer. This is the first cycle. This is the second. All right. This is the first cycle, this is the second cycle. I'm going to change the scale on this second cycle. I'm going to press S on your keyboard, just increase the size, maybe 50%. The next step, we are going to create a position keyframe. Highlight all of them, press P on your keyboard, make a keyframe. Go to this stopwatch, click, you make a keyframe all over here. Drag this big cycle to another side like this one. And uh, I'm going to drag a second cycle that small to another. Uh, I'm going to mark the working area. And uh, I left click on this bar up here and then trim to, to work in area. Just trim it. So if I run preview, it's just be a little bit faster. I'm highlight the whole keyframes then I'm going to ease, ease them by pressing F9 on your keyboard this is what we have by now the next thing we are going to create a new adjustment layer I'm gonna give this adjustment layer a name maybe rough I'm going to effect on the preset right here I'm going to find something called rough and edges take this one to the rough this is what we have and i'm going to make some little adjustment here border to 100 and then scale inference i'm going to make it zero edge shopping yeah maybe yeah it's not far 7.7 7. something that's okay if we don't preview you can see something is happening but it's not exact what we want if I take my cursor somewhere here before they apart each other, you see there is kind of metaball here. The next step we are going to create another adjustment layer. I press enter for renaming my adjustment layer. Just write beam and effect and the preset right here. Just click and write beam. Beam effect is down here. So I'm dragging to a beam adjustment layer right here. The first thing you have to press this composite on the original. Just check it. And then the second thing you have to change the color of the our beam. Drop here and then come on, press here. Take another one, just click over here. We are already changing our beam effect as you see. The next step is we are going to open this position by, by pressing P on your keyboard. We're going to make an expression in a beam effect with link with this position of the first and second cycle. Starting point, I'm just press option and I click it. And then I'm going down here. You can see it here, right here. Pick whip. I'm taking my pick whip to the first position of the second cycle. And then I press again option to make a keyframe and the quick stopwatch right here come down right here and then just pick up on the first cycle right over there change the length of our beam effect to a hundred i'm going to take this beam effect down to rough adjustment 
we're going to make an expression between ending thickness and starting thickness pressing option and click ending thickness and then come down here this ending thick thickness we are going to pick web to the this is ending we want to the start we're going to make a keyframe from the starting thickness we're just making a keyframe after a couple of frames we are crank it maybe somewhere to 70 70 yeah somewhere there inverse this keyframe by if i run preview yeah i think you can see something over there this is the metaball effect i hope you got something in it do not forget to subscribe for the where some tutorials like this one for the adobe premiere pro adobe after effect please press that bell button share like if you think this tutorial is helpful for you thank you very much see you in another one